So, let's do a quick rundown of what's happening here. We all know that we are building a driveway from that gate all the way out there that will come and wrap around the ice cream cone shape thing. They will wrap around it and go back down to that gate or go back the other way beside that solar installation and go to the right out the other gate behind that white building. But what you didn't know is that we are making pathways throughout the yard uh, to allow people to access this garage. We have a pathway from there and that's what they are building. So let me get closer to it. Uh, so this is how this works. In the future you walk out of this garage and you walk through here, get into that area walk through here turn right and let's go that way and go that way and go up that way and that's what they are making right now i'm gonna walk around it so you can see more of what is happening so you walk from that garage again i'm up this way this is a walkway and in between here, this ship that you see here, straight edges on this side and a similar circular urge on this side. We'll plant some flowers in between here and that is the building. There will be more flowers over there. But then you have a small walkway here coming to the front of the building. And as it comes here to the front of the building, it again curves around here so we don't do straight edges here because he must have the tendency if you're coming from this way you want to take the hypotenuse uh, so you walk through here so you can get right in here and if you want to go up the ramp into the building or you want to go up the stairs into the building you can do so but this would be like a wider area and this pathway where does this lead so this one leads this way it goes down this way and takes you around the this path you come here to where the cars the vehicles will park when they do the roundabout they will come and park here to drop off passengers that may need to go to the building this way that is what this path takes you out to uh, so yeah so this is the pathway that leads here what about here so where they are mixing the mortar now going to where that block is you see that line of blocks you see between that line of block and the wall is a pathway that leads from that gate that way the pathway goes behind the container and goes to the gate there and that is a walking pathway it's very wide it's about uh, 15 foot wide from that wall to this place 15 to 20 foot wide so that is going to take you up there there will be a stairs to climb up here and there will be a platform there above the where where we have the water storage so that is the water storage there will be a stair you climb up there and you can sit above the water storage there will be a maybe a solar rooftop above that so there will be a sitting area and then if you want to come down from there to the building this is the stair of course that we are fixing you can come down walk through this stair right there from there you can walk through and come to the building or come this way towards me or go that way down there to the garage or across the yard that is how this place is designed so this piece here between here from the blue container to that two layers of block wall you see uh, to there to here coming all the way here this space that you see here will be our little tree garden where people can come out of the building and sit under the trees that's what we are planning to do here we'll plant some trees here maybe some fruit trees where people can sit and hang out but this is the design of this area so yep we we did some things that we had to undo so we had to break cut into that thing 
so that we can continue on this line so that anywhere people can get off the vehicle so think about it when the front of your vehicle is here someone will be getting off the passenger front seat they will be getting off around here also so we wanted a pathway to reach all the way here that's why we had to cut into that we'll solve the other problem later that's not a big deal but that is the idea so you walk all the way out there and then you can go to the main buildings and i'll just walk through here so you see how it looks like so in the future we go to be walking here going to the building and what they see on the left hand side will be some trees fruit trees and some sitting areas so they would walk this way and once they get here they can decide to go this way or they can decide to come climb up these stairs or they can decide to take the ramp and go up to the same spot to the front entrance of the building and here if they wanted to they could continue this way and this will take them up to here where they can come and climb a little stair here and go up here and go sit up on that thing so this whole area will fill this place up a little bit and i'll pull some maybe rock and then that you can sit up there under there we can put some solar panels above this water storage thing that's why we have the all of the steel rods still poking out we're going to extend it put some uh, poles some other nice poles and make and make another small solar uh, tent here and all here now will be trees and then here is where the walking pathway, a wide walking pathway that you can even drive from, but we are making it primarily for walking. This will take you all the way here, between here and here. It's about 20 feet wide. It takes you all the way to that gate out there. That gate right there. It takes you to that gate. Yep. And you can see there, uh, they are pouring some water on the concrete uh, because they are about to do some work there. Uh, Yep, so that is the idea of what we are doing here. Uh, cool. And up here, let's go up the stairs. So I'll tell you the, the choice we made for guardrails for the stairs here. We decided to improvise. All of the estimates I was getting for these aluminum guardrails, they are ridiculously expensive for very flimsy things. And I did multiple uh, quotes from different vendors uh, and uh, different installers. And all of the material I was getting was unsatisfactory for me. So we went about with a different route with me and my welder. He's Liberian and he does a great job. And he's part of my team that I recruited. So he works with me now for years. And this is what we are doing up here. So you see he's cutting. This is where he's going to plant the, uh, the guardrails. So everything here is going to be nice. And all sides, both sides of this text is going to have guardrails. But what type of material are we going to use for this? We're going to use some super high quality galvanized, galvanized U-bars. And these are the governor's U bus. Uh, this is the top place here, the top spot, landing spot on the top. He's already making the first line of governor's tube. And that's him, the chief welder. And if he doesn't do a good job here, the slab I will put in the one ear, you will not believe it. There he is, right there. <sighs> so, these are the things we've got on the aftermarket high quality strong solid galvanized u-bar instead of the flimsy things so these are the things these are the iron it's not all of it here we have some of them down there who bought a bunch of these things i'm going to clean it up clean remove all the paint that is on it grind it down put some anti-rust paint on it and that's what we are doing here. And we're gonna build this thing. It's gonna be solid, durable, and it's gonna be safe. Those are some of the things that we are looking for here. And yeah, that's it. Uh, so let's see, it's gonna do some welding. Uh, we're gonna make sure everything is super straight and lined up. P 
please go get level and use level here. It's not level. Okay, you tag it, you put level on it. I don't want no eyeballing thing here. You use your level, you put level on the thing. And yes, there's a lot of dirt and mess here right now. The windows are a mess. See the amount of beating it has taken. It needs to be clean and washed. Washed. Washed, washed, washed. Look at that. This is crazy. This is dirty. Hello. You all right? Huh? Wave to the camera now. Huh? <laughs> Ronnie. Oh, yeah. So let me do a quick video coming from up here. Last time I told you, went ahead and bought these U bars that are galvanized uh, U bars. Instead of just getting those, uh, you know, finishing uh, shops to come and install those aluminum, flimsy aluminum looking things, we decided to go on the aftermarket and get these very solid. Have a nice, have a nice pack. Yeah, really solid. And then come, and of course my welding team, uh, as you all know, I have my welder Oliver and his crew. They come out here and install, and they are installing these things. I'm super happy with this. Here we have total control over how much material to use and how well we want to do it so that it is durable, so that it is safe. We are basically just tagging for now. We haven't welded. Tagging just means we're just attaching these things and then see the form and see how it sits, make any necessary corrections we want to do, uh, both in terms of design and in terms of structural stability. You see what we are doing? We are actually cutting into the concrete slab here, the reinforced concrete. And we're going to basically tag them to the steel rods and then we're going to recast them so that they are sitting well in all of these areas we are going to weld properly once we are done with this um, so this is the thing we are doing we are testing out the rust oleum on this thing i had a can of rust oleum that i wanted to test out on this thing and see how it holds up uh, that's why you see this top part looks bronze and the other part the rest of the thing are silver but this is what we are doing. So, these are some of the things that we'll be doing for residential homes in the X city. We'll ask you to make your choices, and these will eat into the cost of your building. But going to get the aftermarket parts like these durable and solid, much more reliable pieces is better than getting those aluminum things. Um, so, yeah. The stairwell, as you can see, both sides, this is the design that Oliver came up with and that he is using here. It's pretty safe and it's pretty, it looks neat. So these are the kind of things that we will be doing. Uh, so this is the next landing area here and the heights are all uniform again. Uh, here, same thing, it's safe for people to come and stand, lean over here, talk to people down across the yard and things like that. As you know, that's the water storage there. It will have some solar roof, but then the stair goes down, further down, and Oliver here is working on it. And if he makes any mistake, they slap out, put in your ear, a tear will go one side. You're laughing. So that's the work we are doing here. Um, and he and his crew, the man who look like ghost. Yesterday you were looking like ghost. I was slapped that one on the face. I looking like something like ghost. <laughs> and I get up, plenty slap. 
More than hundred slab happy. I'm giving more than hundred slab in the yard. Of course, that's Musa, the assistant, the deputy welder. I won't get in two slabs from me today. They won't, yeah. I will slap you. You don't believe it. Maybe me stay here. You caught something funny. Uh, Musa there. And yeah, they are doing a great job so far. And they will continue to come down this stair. That's where Musa is working now. Oliver is working on this part. And then Musa is working on this part. And they are going to come down with it. And then we're going to also make another <coughs> of those guy rails around here. Maybe just connecting the pillars. Uh -huh. And then we are going to go down again with this uh, guard rails down here. Yep, this is it. Uh -huh. Super nice.